Hey y'all, happy Sunday. So this is a huge celebratory video because today I am officially done with my first semester at my university. Every single day I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. Every single day I'm gonna make So that may seem like a very small feat for some of you all, but for me, this is huge. I'm talking big, like gigantic. This is awesome. Excuse me, in my excitement, I was a little rude. Hello to everyone out there. All my new subscribers, hello and welcome. To all my old subscribers, hey y'all, welcome back. So let me tell you why this is such a huge accomplishment for me. If you've seen some of my other videos, you may have heard the story already, but uh, basically this is my like third attempt at college. The first two, no, I'm sorry, this is my fourth attempt. The first three did not go well. So when I went into college straight out of high school, majorly flunked there. Like they kicked me out of school. That's how bad it was. Um, then I tried like two more times doing online college. It was not for me. It just wasn't a thing. Plus there was a whole lot going on in my life. Um, I lost a lot of people like back to back to back. It was just, it was a crazy time. Um, and then fast forward to 2014, I decided to try it just one more time. I was like, I'll give this one more attempt. And I did. I went into my junior college. And even though life still happened, because life is always going to happen no matter what. And so even though life still happened, I graduated. Graduated, transferred, and now I'm at the university of my choice. <laughs> There's a video on that too. Even though I'm at the college of my choice, which I love, that old voice. I like to call her memory child. Cause she always loves to bring back memories child. And not the best memories, right? It's never like, oh, remember that time you succeeded in this thing? Mm -mm, no, she's a horrible, horrible voice. And so from the second I got into this school, it was like, well, remember you failed last time. Oh, you're gonna try this again, huh? I don't know what's gonna happen. And I fought that voice and fought that voice because, I mean, it's myself, right? It's my own words. I know the voice and I know that what the voice is saying is true. I didn't make it the last couple of times. Like, yes, I made it just this last, last time, but the first three times, I didn't make it. So I was kind of like, oh, a little defeated. I was like, what's gonna happen? Am I gonna make it? This is maybe not a great thing to do. I'm not really sure. Mm. But thank God for therapy. You all, it look, I know that therapy is still, even now in 2020, kind of a taboo subject for some people. Don't let it be a taboo subject for you go see a therapist. Like it's honestly, it's good just to have somebody to kind of talk the craziness out in your head when you're getting ready to talk yourself out of something or <laughs> into something that you don't need to get into. Therapy is so good for that. So I was talking to my therapist and I was telling her about the voice and how this voice just keeps coming and keeps saying all this like negative stuff and reminding me of like past failures. And I was like, but I'm like reminding myself, like, no, this is different. This is new. This is, you know, I can do this. It's okay. And she was like, and how does that make you feel? And I was like, honestly, exhausted, completely exhausted. And she's like, yeah, stop arguing with that voice. Just do what you have to do and let the voice say what it's going to say. Ignore it. And I was like, you say that like it's simple, <laughs> but okay. So. I took her advice. I started ignoring the voice because it didn't stop. It did not stop. Even up until what, last week at my finals, it was like, mm, I don't know if you studied enough. This is mm, this probably not gonna look good for you. Mm, I don't know if you're gonna pass these classes because you know your study skills aren't exactly what they need to be in. Like, this is really gonna hurt you during the semester. And I'm like, shut up, I'm trying to study. So the voice went away. The voice went away, 
I continued to study, and now I am sitting here. I have passed all of my classes. I am ready for next semester. Oh, and by the way, check this out. Look what I did. <laughs> I was just there with us. So, I am a part of, um, well, <laughs> I'm a part of a lot of clubs on campus, but one particular I really, really love is our meditation club. So I'm part of that. I have a, um, a title. I'm the treasurer. But they told me from the very get-go, like, the treasurer doesn't really do stuff. Like, we don't collect fees. We don't have dues or anything like that. So there's not really a lot um, that I'll be doing as a treasurer. But they wanted me to do... Um, like stay in contact with members, kind of do some engagement stuff, which I've been doing because they told us like, start doing your job right now. So I was like, bet. So I started doing it, right? And as I'm doing it, I was like, so treasurer is cool. That's a nice little title. But I want a title that's more fitting to what I'm actually doing. And I was like, I would like to be the member preservation and engagement officer. And I was like, I don't even know if that exists. That might not be a thing. I'm like, it's probably not, but I want to do it. <laughs> so um, I went ahead, I talked to the guys who are over the club and I asked them, I was like, you know, I'll keep the, the title of treasurer because I know we have to have certain offices, offices, officers um, for it to be, you know, an organization. We have to follow the rules. So cool. I'll keep the treasurer title. But I really think this other title is more fitting. And they were like, yeah, that works great. That's exactly what you're doing. And I was like, yay. So yeah, I'm ready for next semester. I am ready for to charge ahead, to keep going, to see what else is gonna happen. Like, oh my God, this whole semester has been just like eye-opening. It's been great experiences. Doesn't mean there hasn't been some bumps in the road because again, if you look back a couple of videos, <laughs> there was an issue I was having with my actual department. Like I am an accounting student and I was having a problem with the business department because of one of my accounting classes. So this stuff happened, right? But when you look back over it, I don't think I'm gonna remember the one uh, department head who wouldn't stamp my paper. What I'm gonna remember is that I passed this semester. I finished my first semester. No failed classes, no repeat classes, done. I succeeded. That's all I'm gonna remember. Especially because again, next semester there's more great stuff and then I have a whole nother year for even more great stuff to happen. I am so, so excited. This has just been, it's been a great week. Stressful, yes, because these, who lauded these finals is woo. Mm. But still a successful week, a great semester, and I am like, yes, I did it. <laughs> so you all, I know I am not the only one with that little voice in my head. I know I am not the only one who has themselves talking about the failures that they've had, the failures that have come across their way, right? Even when you're trying to go and step and do something new, it's like, oh, but remember last time? Remember that one time? Mm, it didn't really work out for you. Look, I am telling you right now, let the voice say what it's gonna say. Let it remember what it's gonna remember. And you keep pushing forward. You keep going, you keep striving. Because all you need is one yes. So I have my motto for 2021. And the model is, uh, it was a Wayne Gretzky. He was the hockey player. Um, he said, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. Amazing. It's so true, right? So I might not get everything. Everything might not go my way. Things are gonna happen. Stuff is gonna happen. It's not always gonna be yes. But I'm not gonna let that possibility of a no stop me from doing what I think I should do or stop me from going for what I think I want to go for. Another thing I just did, I applied to be a director for one of my other, uh, again, I'm involved in so much, you guys, it's ridiculous, but I applied to be a director for one of the programs that I'm, or one of the organizations I'm a part of. 
We have interviews on the 21st. Will I get it? I don't know, but I do know that at least I'm taking a chance. At least I'm trying. So if there's something that you really, really want to do, if there's something that's just like burning inside of you, something that you've been thinking about for a while, something that you've always wanted, if it's your, you know, your calling, your passion, just an interest, a hobby, whatever it is, go for it. Keep trying it. You don't know what's going to happen if you take that one step where that one step will lead you onto something else. Again, it's all a whole thing about not giving up, about not letting that fear, that voice, that little nagging thing stop you from doing what you want to do. You can do it. I'm here to tell you, you can do it. Give it a try. As a matter of fact, we're getting ready to end 2020 and you know 2020 has been a beast. So whatever it is that you were thinking about, whatever it is that you've been contemplating, try it this week, apply for it this week, make that phone call this week. The year's almost over, do it now. We don't know what 2021 is gonna bring, who knows? But we still have some time in this year. There's still time for greatness, go and be great. Thanks so much for watching, as always, I definitely appreciate it. If you feel so kind, you can leave me a like, a comment, or you can subscribe to my channel. I'll see y'all next week. Bye.